Hello guys, good evening. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to create an AMI from the existing EC2 instance which is in running. So let's get back to the EC2 console. So this is my RWS architecture diagram. So this is my Amazon EC2 instance which is in running. So I will take an AMI from the existing machine and I will launch the EC2 instance one or more instances from the existing AMI which is taken from the Amazon EC2 machine from the which is in running state. So let's get back to EC2 console. So I have a machine which is in running state. So this is my running state server. Let's connect to the server. So check your uh, present working directory, it is in slash root. So give some touch test file and create some contents. I have given some contents. So let's get back to the EC2 console and I need to take the AMA from the existing EC2 machine. Go to images and templates in the actions, create image. So give the image AMI test description you can give. So this option is no reboot, reboot enable. This option is uh, when you create an AMI, the existing source machine need to be reboot or not when you launch an AMI from the existing machine. So and the same size throughput and delete on termination should be default. So if you want to disable, you can disable and if you want to create a more snapshots, you can uh, tag them separately and go down create an image so go to AMIs in the images so this is my AMI which is taken from the running test EC2 instance so if you check here it is in visibility is private status is pending is taking the image from the existing EC2 machine. When it is available, then you need to launch an instance from this AMI. Still in pending state. So let me check the existing one. What is the storage? What is the network? A GPO volume. It is no encrypted. still in pending state Let me pause the video when it is available so that you can
welcome back guys uh, the AMS status is now it is available state so now it is ready so with this AMI you can launch one more one or more EC2 instances with this AMI so you need to launch an EC2 instance from this AMI my AMI instance The same configuration it has been taken from the existing one so you can choose whatever you need instance type i'll go with t2.micro you can give the p key pair you can edit the settings agb is enough gp3 volume so it has been defaultly it is taken as gp3 volume so launch is it instance So it is still in pending state. So if you check here the test server which is in running state, the previously we have taken the AMI from this existing EC2 instance. So I have created an AMI instance with the is AMI image in the newly launched EC2 instance. Let me check whether the file is replicated in this AMI instance or not. So let's get back to the EC2 instance. Let's connect to the instance. So I have pasted in the root folder. So this is where you have got the AMI from the same existing EC2 instance, the output. I have saved the file in the existing EC2 instance, which is running the test server. So the AMI is taken from the existing EC2 machine and the output has been taken. So the data has been copied to the AMI and the AMI, we have launched the NA, one more or more EC2 instances. I have launched one EC2 instance. So this is my data, which is kept in the existing one. So my, my data is, has been replicated. So this is where uh, AMA is work. It will work. So you can check that the status and the volumes and oil everything is perfect for my AMA. So this is where AMA it works. Thanks for watching my video. Please do like, share, and subscribe for more videos. Let me know if you have any doubts. Please post in the comment box. Thank you.